them in. So you can see how easy it is to achieve by tapping these button controls I have here to get the frequency uh, or the uh, VSWR right down to zero, which gives me a perfect match on the antenna and uh, good power transfer and high efficiency. So we'll do that one more time. We go up there and you can see just moving a little bit in frequency with the antenna, we can uh, demonstrate the extremely high Q of, uh, of this loop antenna. This demonstration is going to show us the difference between the receive capability as we sweep it across. Keep an eye on the S meter and the spectrum scope, which is tuned to resonance right now. I'm going to tune it off resonance. There we go. We're off resonance now. Went down about 30 or 40 dB. We're back to resonance again. Watch the S meter. Without it being amplified. There you go, the S meter is back up about 15 over 9, and we'll go past it in the other direction. Look how fast it dives back down again. The high Q of this antenna is really displayed here quite well. Okay, it's resonant now. I'm going to switch over to the 390 foot antenna. Actually, it's a little bit lower. The 390 foot 2.8 weight. weight 2.8 wavelength antenna is actually a little lower in signal. And back to the loop. Not much of a difference at all. Sometimes the loop is a little bit stronger. Once in a while, vice versa. But this is a good demonstration for the uh, received capabilities of this six foot diameter uh, helically wound magnetic loop. Okay, we're going to uh, show the uh, receive capabilities of the loop in action as we vary the loop frequency back and forth across a reasonably strong signal here on the 40 meter band. Uh, and this will give you an idea of uh, the difference and then we'll compare it to the uh, off-center fed doublet. So here we go. Yeah, Roger, well. Okay, that's on a resonance. Watch the S meter. Okay, we're off the uh, resonance right now. Go back on resonance. Watch the uh, S meter. There you go. Back on the uh, resonance again. Wait for the strong signal to come back on. There you go. Let's go off resonance now. He's 20 over 9. Off resonance, you can see him dropping down considerably. Get back on resonance again. Yes. There we go. We're on resonance. Get a strong signal. I'll flip over to the doublet. Uh, okay. We can go ahead, Jim. Let me the buddy and I just thought I'd do my check from a different direction there. Switching double it. Loop. Double it. Loop. Okay. The wife just left, taking the granddaughter home, picking up the mother-in-law. They're going the to loop. Bingo, so we're radioing the double. Virtually no I'll difference, uh, I'll, I'll which is the case uh, once in a while. Yeah, that's right. Well, I guess we don't have enough chatter here, so we'll uh, shut it off. Here's a little bit more... Uh, Switching back and forth from the uh, magnetic loop to the uh, 390 foot off center fed doublet. Uh, we'll give some more demonstration here. Uh, we're on the magnetic loop right now, which you can tell by the band pass on the spectrum scope. Now we're on the uh, doublet. On the doublet, watch the S meter. And now we're on the magnetic loop. And now we're on the doublet. And now we're on the magnetic loop. In this case, there's a tremendous difference, about 10 dB stronger on the magnetic loop. 
Back to the Dublin. Back to the loop. Back to the doublet. There you go, there's a good demonstration. You can always tell when I'm on the doublet by watching the broadband noise across the spectrum scope. There's no question about it. Back to the loop, watch the narrow band pass. There we go on the loop. That's it for the demonstration for now, thanks. Well, hello again. <clears throat> I'm going to give a few comments here just to wrap this up on a little pros and cons of a uh, helically loaded magnetic loop. Uh, one of the first things I'll say is that uh, there's tons of information out on the internet on magnetic loop antennas. It's nothing new. They've been around for a long time. Many people have built them with great success. Uh, my intention here was to lower the size of the magnetic loop, which will you, you will see that I have accomplished and with great performance. Uh, no performance trade-offs that I can see whatsoever because I've built plain old single conductor magnetic loops in the past and the performance has equal or surpassed the performance of my single conductor loops. So from there we'll go to the pros of the loop. Extremely high Q. It's sort of like having a filter in your backyard. It can in increase the dynamic range of performance of your receiver. Very small footprint um, this was intended for uh, HOA restricted radio amateurs and there's thousands of thousands of them around the country. HOAs are getting to be more of a pain as all you radio amateurs know and uh, people are uh, just out of control so uh, I want to combat that by making designing an antenna that everybody can put in their backyard for the most part. Uh, they're very low to the ground. Uh, because of that, you can uh, kind of tuck them in between foliage trees and and uh, just hide them, paint them whatever color you want. And they can blend right in. Very lightweight compared to the uh, cost of uh, building a single conductor a magnetic loop, which would be about 50% uh, bigger in diameter and uh, many times heavier if you built it out of copper tubing which is uh, very wasteful because you're only using the outside skin resistance of the copper and all the copper, the rest of it is just a, uh, a weight and a uh, waste of copper and uh, also a high cost addition to your antenna. Uh, another pro would be high near E-field noise rejection. I've had the experience with this antenna as to be able to reject as much as a 40 dB noise source about a quarter mile from me from being 40 dB on the S meter to down to complete zero, non-detectable. So if you've got any noise sources, you live in a small postage stamp lot, you've got high power lines, neighbors with noisy devices, you can rotate the antenna and you can null them completely out, which is something you can't do with a full size 40 meter dipole, especially in a small neighborhood, unless you have a lot of property, a lot of real estate, then this antenna is probably not for you. Um, it's also got high broadside rejection uh, if you put it on a rotator. Uh, I can uh, null out, it's almost like having a mini beam. You can get, I, I experience about two S units in the plane of the loop. So it's uh, kind of like having a beam uh, also close to the ground. You can work on it with a ladder. Uh, all that my work on these antennas requires is a eight foot step ladder, a wooden step ladder, and uh, don't have to do any climbing. Uh, the cons, uh, a few cons. More, expe uh, excuse me, more expensive than a wire antenna, definitely. And definitely more labor intensive than a wire antenna, but that's part of the fun and the uh, experience of amateur radio, of uh, le learning curves and the technology. This antenna is definitely not for the appliance operator. If you're going to be an appliance operator, you can go out and pull out the catalog, order everything, stick it all together, and uh, I don't know, I don't find it very interesting myself, but everybody to their own thing. But uh, I'm into antennas, as you can see, and it's a lot of fun. I encourage all of you, especially with restrictions, to uh, take a try at it. Take a stab at it. You're really going to enjoy it, and I think what you come out with in the end, if you follow my directions and uh, everything in there is important don't cut corners you're going to end up with a uh, really great antenna system and i think you'll uh, 
you'll really enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching my video and I plan on putting some more videos on these loops as I uh, enhance the operation of these antennas. I've got some other ideas for the design for uh, creating some more gain and also uh, working on better ways to control the vacuum variable capacitor with the currently working on some stepper motor controls. That's it for now. Thanks again for watching. Kilo 8, November, Delta, Sierra, Cottonwood, Arizona. Thank you.